Hi, my name's Richard. This is tips from an instructor from Original Outdoors. Um, this is a video I actually intended to make back in the middle of last year and I completely forgot about it. And something, a conversation the other day reminded me um, of it, so let's do it now. So I want to talk about fire steels, fire flashes, ferro rods, ferrocerium rods, whatever you want to call them. Um, brand name, common name, different people call them different things, but it's one of these things. You have an alloy and a striker of some kind and you get a shower of sparks and you can use it to light a fire, ignite tinder, light a gas stove, whatever you're using it for. They're fairly common in the outdoors and they're a well-established and very useful tool. I always carry one um, of some kind in my kit. So that's all fairly simple and it should seem fairly simple. Within a couple of seconds of training you can get somebody making a good um, reliable set of sparks from a good one. What you tend to see in videos though and in older TV shows and uh, just generally um, on courses and things like that is this where somebody uses the back of a knife not the blade but actually the back the spine of the knife to do the job of the striker. Um, and in fact you see this with knives that come with just one fire steel or something like that that sits in the sheath next to it somewhere there um, and it works very well the problem is this that when we use knives in the outdoors and cutting tools we tend to be very careful and very particular with how we use them we make sure that if we're cutting and carving or making a point on something or doing some delicate work that you're not cutting towards yourself or you're cutting in a way that means the blade couldn't make it to your body. You're not cutting in between your legs like that, you're always cutting on the outside of your legs uh, to make sure you don't hit anything like the femoral artery there. There are lots of ways that you could injure yourself and with some simple rules and some care you can make sure that any cuts you make or any incidents you have are at most minor cuts. So that's all fairly well established until it comes to lighting fires and the people take the knife and start blindly striking away with a razor sharp knife. And I have seen it happen where somebody gets a hand in the wrong place or they're using the wrong end of the knife or the knife's quite sharp, short or just some orientation of things go wrong and in fact in one case somebody else was holding the tinder bundle while someone else was using the knife and the striker somebody ends up with a knife and the hand in the wrong place and they cut themselves they cut the finger normally an injury to in there it's not hugely common but it is something that if it does happen can go from an annoyance and blood all over your kit and probably the end of that trip to a life-changing injury and the loss of use of that digit so why is there any there's no real benefit to using a knife as a striker other than the fact that you don't have to carry a striker but well that that's tied to the fire steel with a piece of paracord which i could use for other purposes if i needed to so the if i've got the fire steel i've always got the striker um it doesn't weigh very much it's a rounded end square edged piece of sprung steel and it does it does the same job a slight modification in technique and you can use it the other way instead of moving the striker you can hold the striker still and pull the fire steel back and do it that way if you prefer which I know some people do and I can't injure myself with that I could run up and jab myself in the eye with it maybe but that, there's lots of things in my kit I can do that with I can do that with a spork if I really wanted to so why use a knife why put that ever that slightly higher level of risk into something that you need to do it looks really good on tv it looks really good if you're filming a tv show about bushcraft skills in the mid 90s and you want to use it to promote that kind of way of doing things outdoors and you get that close-up shot and slow motion and the sparks something like this and then you put that into the program and it looks really cool but like most of these things nobody wants to sit and watch somebody do something in the safest way they want to do something in a visually interesting way so i can understand where it's come from but for 
it's, there's no real reason not to carry a striker. And then if you're carrying it, you should be using that, not the knife. You could also use your backup knife. I like these Opinel uh, folding knives, something about this kind of size. Or what's that, number seven? Yeah, the number seven size. Because they're sharp, they're really simple, they're inexpensive, and they've got a nice square edge. So with the knife closed and safe, I can use it on the back of the fire steel. So Most commercial fire steels come with one already attached, like the Light My Fire ones come with these molded plastic thumb things. And actually the striker plastic has a whistle. Not a very good one, but it's there. And that does the same job. Like all of these videos, I'm not telling you to do something in a certain way. I'm not saying you're wrong for doing it in a certain way. What I'm doing is trying to get you to think and get my clients and then anyone watching these videos just to think about the way they're doing things. You might modify your technique. You might try doing things in a certain way. But it's, it's one of those things where it, it, you're adding a level of risk. Uh, you're adding a, a potential injury into something that you need to do fairly regularly. If you're doing it carefully, if you're very experienced in doing it, if you're making sure that you're using it there, not down here, so your fingers are a long way away from that cutting edge, then that's absolutely fine. But that risk is still there. So I just carry a striker. So just consider whether you want to as well. If you want to tell me why I'm wrong, uh, why you never need to carry a striker, why I'm making this up and no one could ever injure themselves with a knife like that. Um, other things I've got wrong. Uh, what else? The video is too long, too boring, whatever it could be. Put them in the comments below. Uh, but for the rest of you, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.